Hi everyone, um, this is my two videos uh, showing me doing some work on a new knife which was supplied by Kylie over in New Zealand. Um, I'm just putting uh, a polish onto the blade here and that is a 2000 grit wet and dry sandpaper um, just to bring a nice shine to the blade as you see here. Um, I have sharpened the blade uh, so when you're doing stuff like this just be careful don't throw it about like you saw me do at the beginning of the video you will end up getting cut. Now I'm actually going to be... I've reprofiled the blade, made it more of a slight drop point and um, just putting a final touch with the uh, leather strop here. Um, I've reprofiled the blade, I've got a slight drop point at the front and just about the halfway mark at the top there you'll see that I've rounded it off and taken a slight amount of metal off the uh, spine of the knife um, just above the maker's mark is left as is because I want the sharp edge um, for when using uh, fire steel. Um, I will be putting a handle on this and that's obviously why you're watching the video you'll see that. I'm just about to do a cut test here just to show you that it is sharp. And you can see the edge um, it's got a nice polish on it. It's uh, pretty much close to shaving point here. And this is just standard um, A4 paper. I will be testing this knife next weekend. I'm going to a friend's place at Bush. Okay, these are the slabs I'll be using um, for the handle, which will be um, deer antler. They're quite thick at the moment. Uh, they need to be uh, thinned out just uh, quite a bit at the moment. No, I'm just testing it for size. Give you an idea of the size of the handles, and here they are. They've been trimmed down; they're a lot smaller now. And I'm just putting um, some electrical tape over the cutting edge of the blade and also the um, sides of the blade to prevent any marking or scratching. A few bits of this video have been fast-forwarded because it took a lot of time, and there's no point showing everything at standard speed otherwise we'll be here for three hours. I'm just testing the size here of the um, liners which are a bright blue. Just matching everything up making sure the right piece goes on the right side. And no pins are going to be needed or screws are going to be needed for this because of the hole in the middle um, just marking the excess. Because of the holes in the middle of the handle of the tang it's all going to be filled with epoxy so it's all going to be held on with uh, epoxy. So pins are not actually necessary. You can add pins for more of a cosmetic look and also to make sure the handle doesn't come off but uh, with two part epoxy these um, handle scales will not come off. I'm going to be gluing these on pretty shortly. It's marking off all the excess. All of that's going to be removed. And the front end of the slabs. Yeah, two part epoxy I do not like working with. It's sticky, it's slippery, it smells, it's horrible. The um, scales here have been uh, profiled and the excess has been removed. Um, also, the liners have actually been glued on previously to this, and I just simply I was 
in the zone, I was just busy doing work on this and I just completely forgot to film it. So sorry about that guys, but um, it's no big deal, it's just the, the liners were just glued on with the same epoxy you see me adding here. It's adding a lot of it because it's got to fill the hole in the middle of the, the tang. It's making sure that the amount of epoxy up near the front end of the scales, right, right about there, it's actually quite thin because I don't want too much of it spreading out onto the blade when I apply pressure to the scales. So towards the front of the scales, um, it's a thin coat, but it's a really thick coat down towards the back. And it's important to have your clamps or grips adjusted to the correct size before clamping them down which I forgot to do so here I'm adjusting the, the bite of the, um, the grips here too tight they'll damage the deer antler not tight enough it won't work Still not snug enough, tighten it up just a little bit more. Yeah, another thing that's also that when you're using epoxy um, and glue is um, getting everything just right before you clamp it and even when you do clamp it down you can have a tendency for the scales to actually slip. So that's why I prefer using hand clamps of, uh, like this over a vise because a bench vise can actually cause more problems. Okay, we're coming to the end of part one here, people. So if you want to see how it turns out, go watch part two. Alright, see you in part two.